My name is Philippe, and I'm the vocational trainer for the Help Desk Track, where participants are trained to provide frontline phone and email support for users of an electronic health record system. And I'm Joe, the vocational trainer for the Desktop Support Track, where participants receive on-the-job training providing software, hardware, and networking support in a South of Market office complex. Before we tell you more about the program, we thought it might be helpful to give you an idea of the type of individuals that we think would be successful in our program. We've had a really wide range of candidates successfully complete the program. Previous graduates have ranged in ages from 18 to their mid-60s. Some graduates have long work histories, while others have limited experience or long gaps in their employment. Some have very little experience working with computers, and others have used computers for many years. Every trainee will have an individualized experience. The technical skills you learn will be up to you. While each track has specific requirements, every trainee will have an individualized experience. We strive to provide supportive environments that allow you to explore your interests. Graduates of our program have gone on to full-time and part-time work. Some are working in area hospitals, while others are now employed by the city and county of San Francisco. Some have gone on to work for local nonprofits or the private sector, including large tech companies. Others have gone on to pursue jobs outside the IT field, including office work and administrative support. A few graduates used their experience in this program to build their application for college. The backgrounds of iAbility trainees are just as diverse as the jobs that graduates ended up getting. Where you end up isn't indicative of where you started. Don't think that where you are now will determine how you will do in the program. We've had graduates who are fresh out of school with no experience and no IT background. We've also had graduates with some work experience but no experience in the IT field. Others have past IT experience but want to update their knowledge with current information. Some trainees experienced a life event such as health issues, loss of a loved one, or job loss. These life events caused them to take a long hiatus from work. They joined iAbility to try to update their work experience and regain confidence in a work setting. Finally, we've had graduates who had lots of IT experience and joined the program to build a resume and take on new technical challenges. As you can see, a variety of people have come into this program. Regardless of where you're coming from, if you're interested in applying, what you should really consider are the following things. Can you definitely stick to the entire nine month program? Are you willing to work on yourself? Are you receptive to feedback? Can you try to open your mind to new ideas and new ways of learning? Are you willing to take an active role in developing a voice for yourself and developing a sense of agency? Will you take ownership of your own schedule and your own experience in the program? If you've answered yes to all of these questions, you are much more likely to succeed in the iAbility program. Again, you may be dealing with a lot of different issues that you want to work on, such as tardiness, difficulty focusing, or communicating with others. We've found that the people who are most successful in the program are the ones who are willing to work on these things. Now that we've given you a synopsis of the individuals who have come through the program in the past, we will give you a picture of your journey through the program. Please note that you can only participate in one program track at a time. If you join Help Desk, you will stay in the Help Desk for the entire nine-month period. The same is true for Desktop. You will not be able to switch to another program track once you've attended your intake meeting. Shortly after your intake meeting, we will begin the classroom training. This is when we start to lay the foundations of the acronym SIGHT. During the classroom training, trainees start to practice good habits, particularly good attendance, punctuality, and maintaining focus for long periods of time. In addition to developing and maintaining good work habits, you will also be learning technical skills specific to each program track. On the help desk, you will learn the basics of customer service and phone support. We will review the software applications you will be using, and you will be taught how to resolve the most common problems encountered on the help desk. And in desktop, you will learn the fundamentals of PC repair and troubleshooting, as well as computer terms such as imaging and deployment. We will also introduce the basics of Windows, and we will give you a better understanding of what is inside a computer. The classroom training period is also when you will meet your vocational rehabilitation counselor. The Vocational Rehabilitation Counselor, also known as the VRC, will help you with developing soft skills and with managing personal concerns that have an impact on your job, such as housing and benefits. She will also meet with you individually on a regular basis to help counsel you through work-related issues, as well as link you to resources when needed. Although she may contact your clinician, please note that she is not a substitute for your clinician. Your meetings may sometimes touch on clinical issues, but really the focus will be specific to things that affect work. You, your trainer, and your VRC will work together to help you create vocational goals and to help you stick to them. 
After your first month of working, you and your training staff will have a much better idea of what areas you would like to improve. You will have an opportunity to meet individually with your trainer and then the VRC to provide and receive feedback about your experience to date and to start defining your vocational goals. Individuals come into the program with a large variety of challenges. We work as a team to develop individualized solutions to these challenges and we consider you as part of that team. We write these solutions in form of goals. We like to consider two types of vocational goals. The first type addresses barriers. These are issues that could really get in the way of holding down a steady job, such as poor attendance and punctuality, not following proper procedures, and difficulty maintaining focus. The second type of vocational goals is meant to enhance or highlight your strengths. These include improving your problem solving and troubleshooting skills, building a resume and cover letter, and increasing your knowledge of current software and technology. These goals are often helpful towards career exploration and understanding how to maximize your employment potential. As we mentioned earlier, the most successful trainees tend to be receptive to feedback, have an open mind, and are willing to make time to work on themselves on a regular basis. The iAbility staff believes that, with enough effort and time, these qualities can be developed by anyone. Every few months, you will have these meetings to review, refine, and update your goals. After the first month of unpaid classroom training, you will begin working paid shifts at the South of Market office. You will be assigned a regular schedule of two to three shifts per week based on your availability. You will work closely with your trainer as you start to apply the fundamental skills, knowledge, and habits that were covered in the classroom training. In desktop, you will begin your hands-on experience with hardware and software. You will also start to manage desktop images and learn to work and study independently as well as in small groups. On the help desk, you will start to answer calls and emails, document tickets, and learn how to provide professional support. In addition to performing tasks specific to the program track that you chose, you will begin practicing the routines and habits necessary to succeed in the workplace. This includes maintaining your calendar, completing timesheets, and following program policies and procedures. As you grow more comfortable and confident in your position, you will rely less upon your trainer and have more time to prepare for your next steps and even work on a personal project relevant to your program track. Midway through the program, we will help you to write your resume, and we may conduct mock interviews so that you can practice effectively speaking to your vocational experience. This is also the time when we start talking about job placement services. As we approach the end of the program, we want to make sure that we help you work on determining your next steps. Our hope is that you will have a better sense of your strengths and a clearer plan for what you will do after graduation. More importantly, we hope that by this point, you will have developed a voice, a sense of agency, and a more optimistic view of the future. If you can commit to nine months of training and work in a supportive environment, if you are open to providing and receiving feedback, and you are willing to work on yourself, we encourage you to apply. Again, this is Joe. This is Philippe. And this is John. We'd like to thank you for your interest in our program.